calls for change as a local bar in Long Beach becomes the center of a recent string of violence. Community members are now demanding accountability. One of the latest incidents, a hit and run driver killed a father and daughter right by the Bottoms Up Tavern in Long Beach. Protesters are demonstrating outside the bar today to try to get the place to shut its doors. KTFI's Chris Wolf has the latest from Long Beach. This was a call to action among the community in Long Beach, a peaceful yet vocal demonstration against one business in particular, a bar called Bottoms Up Tavern. It is located right across the street from that memorial you see behind me at an apartment building, which marks the scene of a deadly hit and run crash that claimed the life of a father and his little girl. Demonstrators today say these two locations are connected. A fairly large crowd gathered Saturday afternoon for a march and rally with people holding banners and posters calling for a Long Beach bar named Bottoms Up Tavern to be boarded up and shut down, claiming the customers who visit here have seriously and negatively impacted the neighborhood. Participants in the demonstration point to the recent case involving a hit and run driver who slammed into an apartment building right across the street from the bar killing a father and daughter. 41-year-old Jose and 3-year-old Samantha Palacios did not survive the impact. Long Beach police have identified 24-year-old Octavio Montano Islas as the suspected hit-and-run driver in the deadly March 1st crash along Rose Avenue. Investigators say he bolted from the scene, leaving his pickup truck, and has not been found. The grieving, surviving family members spoke with us. It's hard to lose a, a husband, a beautiful daughter. It's hard. Me as well. I'm heartbroken. It's hard. But I know I got to move on with my mom. It's difficult. It's going to be difficult, but I still have to move forward. The Palacios and their supporters blame the climate at Bottoms Up for problems in the community. They want the city to shut it down. Supposedly, this man came from that bar. Yeah. Yeah, and the bar doesn't want to admit that he came in the, to, from the bar, but he actually did come from that bar. And we need justice. Um, I think this, that bar is dangerous. This place is very dang, danger for uh, our, our community because here is a lot of kids, a lot of mother, a lot of father, families. The owners of that bar did not want to comment, saying emotions are running high and they don't want to say anything out of respect for the family. They do say that it's unclear if that hit and run suspect left the bar before the crash. Reporting in Long Beach, Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News.